Europolkais Fi Artislavich, c. 958 to 960 to 11 June 980 East Slavic I comma sometimes transliterated as Europolk was a young and rather enigmatic ruler of Kiev between 972 and 980 He was the oldest son of Sfi Artislav His royal title is traditionally translated as prince Europolk was given Kiev by his father Sfi Artislav I who left on a military campaign against the Danube Bulgars. Soon after Sfi Artislav's death, however, civil war began between Europolk and his brothers. According to one chronicle, Europolk's brother Oleg killed Lyut, the son of Europolk's chief advisor and the military commander Sfineld. In an act of revenge and at the insistence of Sfineld, Europolk went to war against his brother and killed him. Then, Europolk sent his men to Novgorod from which his other brother Vladimir had fled on receiving the news about Oleg's death. Europolk became the sole ruler of Rus. In 980, Vladimir returned with the Varanian mercenaries and attacked Europolk. On his way to Kiev, Vladimir seized Politsk because Ronida, daughter of the Politsk prince Rojvalod, had chosen Europolk over him. Vladimir forced Ronida to marry him. Then, Vladimir seized Kiev with the assistance from a boy blood who had become Europolk's chief advisor upon the death of Sfineld. Blood betrayed Europolk by advising him to flee from Kiev and go into retreat in the town of Rodnia at the mouth of the Ros River. Vladimir besieged Rodnia and starved Europolk into negotiations. Europolk trusted Blood and his brother's promises of peace and left for Vladimir's headquarters, where he would be killed in an ambush by two Varanans. Purported Baptism As for contemporary foreign sources, Lambert of Hersfeld records that, on the Easter of 973, the Holy Roman Emperor was visited by envoys from Rus, Legati Gentium Rus Corum. In later centuries it was said that Europolk also exchanged ambassadors with the Pope, the Chronicon of Abmudachaban and the Life of Street Rumold, by Pietro de Miani, Document How Street, Bruno of Quart was sent to Rus, Latin, Russia and succeeded in converting a local king, one of three brothers who ruled the land, to Christianity. As both texts are rife with anachronisms, Vladimir Parkom and co reasons that Bruno's deeds were conflated with those of his predecessors, Ad Albert of Prague and several anonymous missionaries active in Eastern Europe during Otto II's reign. Following this line of thought, Alexander Nazarenko suggests that Europolk went through some preliminary rites of baptism but was murdered by his pagan half-brother, whose own rights to the throne were questionable, before he could be formally received in the Christian faith. Any information on Europolk's baptism according to the Latin rite would be suppressed by later Orthodox chroniclers, zealous to keep Vladimir's image of the Russian apostle untarnished for succeeding generations. It is known that Vladimir's son Yaroslav had Europolk's bones exhumed christened and interred in the Church of the Tithes. Marriage and Issues It is known that Europolk was married to a Greek nun. They had a son, Sviatopolk I of Kiev, c. 980 to 1019.